see, but a very good start on again. We've talked about and we've seen today how a DPS loaded composition or a lot of damage heroes can really punish these slower tank comps. Oh, flat oh. was intended. Big oh. already starts off with a double boot. Oh, he's back. No doubt about it. Looking from Bledis POV, you're just like, why the hell is he Did walking he into the well? Yeah. <laughs> yes. oh, you know, that play is going to swing the point in favor of the Gladiators. Uh, we can take a look at it from Look Pikachu's at this rollout. Look at Lucio. Let's go. Yeah. Oh. oh, there you go. <laughs> oh. Committed to the Farah. No one a result yet, but that's Big Goose out of the picture. And, and Jay Hong, you know, off screen does a tremendous job of staying alive. He actually, right after he uses the Nano Boost, he gets hacked and then Roar jumps on him. He puts Roar to sleep, able to stay alive as Ana in the back. Uh, you know, an old school Jaehong pick as uh, Sherpoor does take Michelle out. As they're going to use, okay, so they use the MP and the self destruct to block the point. Fisher has to jump in and he's ball. There's no choice but to feed himself to the Beast Planner. Had a ball, but he never charged to really get much out of it. Bob taking down Sherpoor. Fantastic finish on that Sombra. And I'll tell you what, Matt. Bob almost looks very fitted. good. And then you trance on in. Again, you can't do that with this. Last fight it was an EMP. This time, it's just short for. Oh, no! He was <laughs> caught in the blast. There was no way he was going to get back to that one point. Gets himself two with a self strand and flat up. He's over the edge. What a dominant performance from the Los Angeles Gladiators. And Matt White is done. Blink and you'll miss it. Really strong start here from the LA Gladiators. A nano boost onto your Reinhardt. Here's a re-engage. Gladiators come back in for a fight. Chaz immediately goes for the transcendence. Fisher has the aforementioned nano boost here. Can't do too much with it with so much healing available for the Gladiators, but there is a nurse shadow. So we'll just try and chill for a moment. Goes for it now. Gets very little for that one. The shield was in the way. We're all protecting his team well, but it's not really gonna matter. Fisher comes through the fire strike. And Chaz has to leap onto the point and face his destiny. And Void ends up using his grab there towards the end, and like right as he used Nano Boost here on a Fisher, and he's got a Shatter to work with. That'll be the Transcendence up Shaz. You're just trying to line this up. There's going to be the big grab. It's going to be a sound barrier that comes in from the Gladiator, so keeping some players alive. They're not enough, though, to keep hydration up. Huge punishment. Raw got hacked manually during that fight by Michelle. No shielding available, and no one loves a little bit of a bloodbath more than Jexa by the looks of things. Soul are traveling much better on this map. Especially when you know, these two teams are forced to essentially mirror. Now, he needs a placement to be good, and it is. Pushing forward now. Flutter and Fisher very low. Raw charges through. And that's what the Gladiators need. The grab is always going to be extra effective against this particular comp solo running. I mean, you, you trans, once the trans wears off, the Graviton Surge is there from Flutter, and they pick up the kills. Into stall now as Hydration desperately throws himself at the point, getting a heck of a lot of shielding. Considering the whole enemy team was standing around him, that's how it works. Fisher goes for that Earth Shatter, knocking Hydration to the ground. Now into the fray comes the rest of Soul, and Jexa had the sound barrier saved up for just this moment. Big Goose knocked away, and that'll be it. Really strong offense there. Interact with the Gladiators at all, they have to step forward. They might just be forced to wait this out or wait for Fisher. And that seems to have been the plan. Fisher comes in, gets his eye bubble pretty much instantly, but there's a transcendence in over the fight. j Hawk responds, gets one of his own. Fisher's down, tank battle won by the Gladiators. Now the charge on out, and well, look at Jay Hong being forced away from his team. They can't benefit from the healing. Flatter falls flat as the charge connects, and Jay Hong's all alone. The Gladiators, the Symmetra play, the dream is real. Use the push on forward. That'll be the grab that comes in from Void. See a few members from Soul Dynasty caught up inside of it. No follow up there from the Gladiators. You see all the pressure coming out from Soul Dynasty, picking up these kills. I know, but we've been talking and like watching this game and like it may seem a little bit like, you know, back and forth, back and forth. It's really not. I think it's just because the fights end up lasting so long. And that's an EMP just to make things even worse for Soul. It's a tough fight for them to hold on. And they've lost Munchkin. Raw has to take his time though. The Gladiators took so much damage in those first engagements that they have to play this slow. Self-destruct into the back, it finds very little. That would have been the uh, the release valve for Soul in that fight. Fisher finds a very aggressive kill on Void, and it's might be oh. happening. He gets a second, <laughs> rolls down, sort of gets himself too as well, and that is unbelievable. That Soul could come back in a fight where they were so far behind, but they've done it anyway. And the defense holds strong. Map number two, Soul Dynasty. Really nice switch from Jay. Get aggressive here just to try and force Jay Hong's out, which he does it. He holds on to it. Very nice. Now they're going to use Jay Hong's trance to push on through. They use the shatter as well. That's perfect. That is just 
That's perfect from Soul. Nerves of Steel, they see the Gladiators running at them full tilt with Transcenters. They say, we have enough room in between us and them right now to get Jexa to hit a speed boost. We're gonna back off. They do that and they say, guess what? We had our ultimate, we were saving it. And they managed to get that value out of it, especially after the speed boost had already been used by the Gladiators, so they couldn't get away. You see this from Fisher's POV. Charge into the shatter, he connects the view. Must make contact with this point. They've got two ticks and a little bit more. They're not quite done yet. Pushing in, getting flat at first is a pretty good start, but the Earth Shadow is going to make it a little bit hard. Void doesn't say in his back. He is knocked out. Fisher deals with that one, but the Gladiators have the numbers here, and they're putting pressure on Soul now to respond. Raw Earth Shatter. He needs to connect this one. Another unsuccessful charge, and he has no chance to use it once again. Roar is nullified. Positioning just wasn't there for him. Self-destruct for Soul doesn't find anything, but the Transcendence is definitely helping. It's going to pay dividends if they can keep this roster up and standing. Fisher getting pressured by multiple players in the back corner, and Michelle is just trying to peel some of those players away from him. Hydration is low, but Fisher's down. It's a one for one once again, but the Gladiators aren't on the points. Soul Dynasty managed to hold on. There were four Gladiators players really adamant about pushing from the outside, which is not a common strategy, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. It kind of puts you at a disadvantage. Raw says, no, I'm going to send them straight back out the airlock. It's like a grisly death in every space movie oh, ever. No oh, Raw's getting all the credit for those as well, because he hit him with the final, uh, with the primal rage. Excuse me. That's really good. No, that, that, that'll be this year. Yeah. So this is definitely going. worth a replay, not. Uh, <laughs> they're going to get, they get knocked around. This is what you see from the outside. And, uh, <laughs> You see, in space, ladies and gentlemen, there's nothing to slow you down. So you'll keep going at the same speed forever. And I mean, if you get the Reaper in position to take out, let's say, you know, Roar playing Winston, you're in a good spot. All the ultimates being used here. Both use the Transcendence. There goes Roar. That's the big kill you needed for Soul. Two Graviton Surges. Neither actually really find their mark, but it does hold Roar in place for Michelle to go to town on him with those Hellfire shotguns. Now it returns to the point. The fight pretty much over here. There's three players left for the Gladiators, and they're essentially looking around like confused, confused Travolta right now. They don't know how to get back onto the point. Michelle is a very fearsome prospect, and especially if he's sort of hunting. So they're trying to stall this out. Just take a bit more time off the clock, but it's not going to matter because they didn't catch a point eight. So they need to stop them completely. And there it is. The Battery Boy remix. Die, die, die. Void going down to Flatter, and Gladiators have no choice but to throw themselves at this now, Matt. It's, it's here or it's never. And I mean, they're just trying to extend this as long as possible. Void knocked off the point. That'll be it. Soul Dynasty takes the map. This is what happens when you come out on the attacking side. Launching the shields up in the sky as Munchkin makes a change over to Widowmaker to try and counter the far. But what a perfect situation now. He can do so much work against Hydration. Hydration has to respect the Widow pick so much. But Chaz deals with Flutter up on the high ground and Raw's on a mission now. He's looking to crunch the Widow. They found Munchkin pretty comfortably here and perhaps uh, a lot of theatrics for what was a very simple uh, assassin truck. You could probably land a pretty nice grab coming out of here. They may not even be able to touch and there it is. Void now needs to combo with self destruct with that grab as well as he possibly can and it pays off. That's what he was looking for. It had to be a multi-kill or at least get some value out of it. And now the gladiators know that they will get to continue playing the attack here. Holding onto those ultimates for Soul seemed good, but a sound barrier wasn't going to save him from the grab bomb combo. Well, Big Goose is trying to boop and bop and do some damage. Fish is low. Nice work by Big Goose there to knock him forward away from his healers. Now the Transcendence are coming out from j Hong with a self-destruct in over the top. Transcendence wouldn't have saved the Gladiators from that self-destruct, but no one was in line of sight of the explosion. So the Gladiators get to keep fighting. Flatter down. He went for the back scene. It didn't quite pay off, and Michelle is knocked out of his mech on the payload. The Gladiators, they've finally broken through. Through the breach they go, and they'll get themselves a map completion. Definitely more than they would have expected. They do complete it. CJ Alexander. I mean, so here's that prior fight. That was after the EMP went down and Big Goose. No one doesn't like him. Sure. You bring him right back to full HP. They will do a ton of work. As uh, you see, he gets the effects of the Nano Boost. No fear goes right on in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like you don't filthy. know him. What else would you expect? Uh, I'm sure Fisher would have been more than happy to put those to bed, and yes, that will be so on there. It doesn't really seem like he got too much out of it there. He used to sort of out of frame, and that Fisher wants to push forward. Flatter also has himself a Graviton Surge. He just needs to be wary of Void's presence. Here's the crack. Hydration goes down, and Raw was caught inside there. Oh, and the Transcendence was just a little bit too late from Shaz. The self destruct over the top doesn't achieve much. Void does not find any Soul Dynasty players unshielded or in line of sight. And with Shaz going down now, this is when you started to sweat as a Gladiators fan and player. 
Soul are knocking on your door, and they're coming for the crown. They, they still have a ways to go here, Mitch, though. They're going to be able to take the second point, now work their way towards the completion of... Spider, as Key shifters, Void thought he'd be hit by that one, but he was stunned out of it. Fisher couldn't get the Earth Shatter off either. Neither Ryan finding success with their ultimate abilities. And another self-destruct in the back corner from Void, not finding a target either. Late Graviton Surge, will it be enough? Void's trying to work from the outside, but now with the transcendence in place, Silas so durable, they're so healthy. They're frolicking through the meadow, and the Gladiators now are walking through Purgatory. Couple scared meters left. Soul have done it. They finished the map. Which means there's more to come. Which means they ain't done yet. Oh, he's past his teammates. I don't want to be in the front row of the line anymore. Self-destruct over the top once more. This time again, Munchkin, even getting one kill with that ultimate man is so huge here. And I mean, Fisher can't look to the sky right away. He has to be a little bit patient there. You see Roar sending Michelle all the way back. The Gladiator should be able to take point one. And they have done it. Still in overtime. The Gladiator still gained some charge and he got very little from his own bubble. Here's the Transcendence out of start this fight. It's gonna have to be a sound barrier from the Gladiators. They use it immediately to keep them topped up. Oh, Michelle gets Shawfall there, but it's traded out. Munchkin goes down. Shawfall's Graviton now, just a thing of the past. And Void looking pretty average right now. It's one of the few players up on the payload. Raw finally arrives back to the fight, but Fisher knocks him right on his behind. Orders him to take a seat. The Gladiators are finally halted. But that is quite a push. Quicker the bar will dissipate if no one is present. Fisher, you know he's looking, he's not swinging, he's looking for an Earth Shatter. He almost goes down though. He gets to stay alive. He knows he needs to get rid of hydration. Great Discord or placement by Jay Hong. They got the Brigitte early on. Fisher receives one of his own, so he just charges out there. He says, I don't want to be a part of this. Matt, Soul are not having to use ultimates in this fight. They're not being forced to invest heavily. No. Just transcendence in their rally. Looking for the shatter here. He's booped up vertically, and that's an option, an opportunity, but still oh! purple roll. He gets the reverse shatter. What? Just when the Gladiators thought they could push in to get the job done, he gets the earth shatter, and the Gladiators were not shielded. They were not ready for Fisher to turn around like that. And on that note, the Soul Dynasty start the 2019 Overwatch League season with a nail biter victory over the hometown heroes of Los Angeles Gladiators, and you're right, man, it came down to a shadow. Check out our website at actionesports.com to stay up to date on the latest matches, highlights, and more from scores, match history, and specific game info we've got you covered for all things Overwatch Esports. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out our channel for more action-packed content. Also, like and share this video, and click the subscribe button to join our notification squad. Thanks for watching.